Hi guys, welcome to another episode. As you can see, we're not at our test bench today. We're here in front of our customer bench where we cut and process guns. Um, common question we've been asked, how to cut rubbers accurately? There's many ways. We have a pretty simple system that we do in-house. We cut thousands of pieces per month. So we have a, a better system, I would believe. But in the field, you either need it scissors, or a knife, um, both need to be very sharp. Some guys even use these smaller toothed scissors used for braid. The trick is to have a sharp knife and preferably use some dishwashing liquid. If you apply the dishwashing liquid onto the rubber, the blades will slip much better. Pretty good cut. Not as straight as you would with a chopping blade, but plenty big, uh, good enough for in the field. A knife, best is to stretch it. If you've got a mate to hold one side or put it in a vise, once you've masked your length, give it a small tension and there it pops off. As you can see, not that great an edge, but good enough for in the field. In the factory, we use one of these devices, simple wood base with a movable plastic bottom section. And we just use a simple blade from a wood planer. Obvious reasons, the sharper it is, the better it will work. So simply put it to the position you require, push down, nice, clean, straight cut. Okay, so these wood blades that we use in our jigs are just standard plain blades hardened steel obviously i sharpen on uh, diamond encrusted plates there's three different hardnesses uh, you can use water paper works just as well um, there's plenty youtube channels showing you how to sharpen these blades so don't take it that i'm an expert um, but i get them sharp enough to shave and i think that's more than adequate for for cutting the rubber so, quick check to test if it's sharp. There you go, shaves quite easily. There you have it, how to cut your rubbers.